Tommy, if you take, for example, a couple who are living in Dublin who find themselves out of work at the moment with three kids, they will be in excess of €5,000 better off in 2023 as against uh, 2022. Yeah, but this problem in terms here of the suite of supports and social welfare payments. And the thing is, is that it's actually single people and people who are actually going to work that are the people that have missed out on this. Mm -hmm. And they're the people that, the voters that you, you rely on. And they're the people that I feel well, well, I, looking at that are taken for granted. And that's what the message is. And, and I, I think more has to be done well. there. But we have uh, increased, uh, we, we have uh, put resources in the budget in relation to tax relief. Uh, and renters' tax credits. So there are two measures in relation. Well, talk uh, to, to us oh, about the rent then. So what's the situation with rent? Because there's obviously a lot of talk in the doll about there should be a rent freeze. There's a lot of people are panicking. We've had people talking about homelessness, petrified and that the rent, their landlord yeah. could chuck them yeah. out. And the rent yeah. pressure zones haven't worked. Like we're talking about 2,300 in Dublin, average rent 1,800 in Cork. It's well, not working. I, I would disagree with that. The rent pressure, the, the, the rent pressure zones have worked because DAFT have shown that rents, uh, existing tenancies have increased uh, within the parameters of the what's what's stipulated. But with average within, rent of two thousand three hundred. That that I'm talking about existing tenancies. Look, the key to this is, and, and we 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 have huge effort and huge resources, a multi-annual budget of about four and a half billion euros put into housing. We are ramping up housing right across the board, social, affordable, private housing. That is the key to this. There's no two ways about it. We have to increase supply. We had, we had a decade of 10 years where there was no house building in this country and we're now suffering because of that. And it has well, been Fine Gael and Fine Gael the, have the, been the, in the key, government in that period it's the key, as well. It's the Jennifer, key priority for government to build your, more houses right across the country. So, look, I suppose there's a lot of facts and there's a lot of figures being put out there, but the reality is I had three people into my office in Wicklow on Monday alone who were facing evictions and absolutely terrified, didn't know what they were going to do with their children, with mm -hmm. school, and um, how they were going to manage. Uh, one in ten parents are accessing food banks. Mm -hmm. um, four, was this today, I think the stats were saying uh, four out of ten teachers are seeing children in their, in their classrooms going hungry, hungry. So if you look at what people are feeling and experiencing on the ground, it is clear that the measures that the government are bringing in are not working. And I think that's what you need to look at, as actually what's happening in people's lives and how are they being impacted. You say that, you know, a family with three children will be €5,000 better off this year. Average energy costs have gone up 2,400. Yeah. That's and that doesn't include food costs. It doesn't include mortgage increases. It doesn't include rent increases. So people will absolutely be, and they are suffering, and they are absolutely terrified of what's coming. And I do, the door and I just no bill. one's going into to politics to make people's lives worse. But one would like to think that. Mm -hmm. But it does feel like the gap has widened in this country, and we are an incredibly rich country, Niall. It does feel like the haves and have nots when you've got children going hungry to school. Well, it's just not acceptable. Uh, we, we've been very clear, and I've said it at the outset of our of our session here this morning. Government, um, there's limits to what government can do in relation to the interventions that we can make, and we have made a suite of universal and targeted interventions. Now, in relation to housing, the the eviction, uh, the ban on evictions was brought in. It has proven that it hasn't worked because homelessness has increased, right. and there's a fundamental issue government has to act uh, within legal boundaries. It has to take on board the legal advice that it gets from their senior law advisor, the Attorney General. And um, at the time, it was advised to government that you could bring it in on a temporary targeted basis. So if you want to bring it in on a more permanent basis, we're talking about a fundamental change of people's property rights, which are enshrined in our constitution. And you're looking at a referendum. That is what government has to balance also, people's property rights. And that affects everybody right across the country if we're going to change it, our it, property it, rights. It's the corporate landlords as well, rather it's than just one-off landlords. It's state of an emergency, though, at this stage. It's, it's beyond and an emergency. We've got emergency, corporate landlords that have never set foot in Ireland. Do and they, they recognise it? Oh, Absolutely, it's, rec it's a top priority because for government. Because nothing really has been brought in this whole measure for well, well, I, I would, I, I would just for I, housing I, because really housing is the. There was crux. almost there was almost thirty thousand houses completed last year, yeah. uh, and the target which seems the target to be something within, that you're really hanging your hat on. But realistically, well, well, that's been ten years of no building. No, and, no, and it, not it's not something that we're just hanging our hat on. They're real houses where real families are living in, uh, and that's a significant uh, cohort of people who are living in thirty thousand houses. 
and it's, it's the plan to build uh, in excess of 30,000 houses every year going forward and to enable the private sector and to enable the public sector. So the, 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 we, the, the housing didn't even reach its full budget in the end of the day. But we do know that well. the health well, it exceeded, team has... It, it exceeded its house, we exceeded our house building target last year and we will exceed it next year. It's the top priority of government. And But there was know, reports in the paper that the health supply scheme, it has actually, uh, average prices of houses have gone up by almost 40,000 euros. So again, it feels like all of these measures, and I'm not saying you're not spending money, there is a massive housing for all budget of one billion. It's just making things more expensive. Yeah, but, but house, housing is, is permanent. It's for life, as we know. It's an investment that people will have to make uh, for a lifelong investment. And I, I can only keep reiterating the message. It is top priority for government to build mm. as many social, yeah. affordable, cost rental, private houses and to enable all that to happen. Yeah. As well, the Micah as homes would be a little bit different. I think we should be uh, uh, careful in who gets do, the uh, right to build houses as well absolutely. in this we country. We appreciate you both coming no in problem. to we talk to us this morning. Al Collins, of course, TD with Finfall and TD Social Democrats. Jennifer.